Well, Jeremy Corbyn, I think, is a grave danger to this country, but that's because Has of the... Has he betrayed the country? That's because of the, the ideas in which he believes and what that would mean well, that, for our well, that, economy that, and that, our that's society. That's people of all sorts of ideas. But you're a defence secretary. Our defence secretary, the defence secretary of this government, of our government, has said the leader of Her Majesty's opposition has betrayed his country. A Tory backbencher, MP, Ben Bradley, he tweeted that Mr Corbyn had, quote, sold British secrets to communist spies. Sold British secrets to communist spies. So clearly without evidence that he then had to delete it. Yesterday, the background of your programme, you had Jeremy Corbyn dressed up against the Kremlin <laughs> skyline. It, no, 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 he's got to make this point. Yeah, no, make dressed, point. Up, dressed up as a Soviet student. It was, it was a real picture of no, Jeremy it Corbyn. Was, you even photoshopped his hat to look more Russian. I have to say, I no. mean, whether it, or not... It, it wasn't whether photoshopped. Not, whether it, not, was real, it, it was really... It was, it was him it. in front of the people, Kremlin. People, it was a provocation. People should yeah, complain yeah. to the BBC about that kind of thing. And it's not your graphics department who's mm. responsible. Mm. It's whoever signed it up. Right. Very fine line between being pro-Palestinian, the Palestinian cause, which he's always believed in, and being anti-Semitic. And I think he's gone the wrong side of that line. And I think it's a bit scary as well. We've got this sort of growth of populism, whether it's Trump, whether it's Boris Johnson, and now whether it's the cult of Corbynism, which allows these sort of attitudes to emerge, and that's what scares me. Both my parents were refugees. My mother came on the Kinder transport. My grandmother escaped two months before the war. All my life I have lived with European anti-Semitism and its effects. The idea that Corbyn is an anti-Semite is quite frankly idiotic. So then we have to think what's going on. There are local elections coming up in the Labour Party. There are deep problems around anti-Semitism, not so much in Britain, thank goodness, but in Europe and elsewhere. We need to focus on the serious stuff. And this is a manipulation by an Israeli propaganda outfit, by the right wing of the, part of the Labour Party, and goodness knows who else. Corbyn is past his peak. This is the Daily Mail. The Times, peak Corbyn, question mark. This is the Daily Mirror. They're supposed to be on Corbyn's side. Look, back from the red. May's day as Labour falters. <laughs> you, what? You have never, I, this says peak Corbyn here as well. I've never in my life seen anything like it. The media, the commentariat, they've absolutely battered Corbyn, you know, relentlessly, day after day after day. They're like a propaganda militia. The Integrity Initiative also retweeted and shared uh, tweets that criticized Seamus Milne, who is a, a senior Corbyn advisor, and George Galloway, along with Corbyn himself. The Integrity Initiative shared this ridiculous article in the right-wing newspaper The Times called Jeremy Corbyn's sickening support of Soviet empire. And the Integrity Initiative tweeted, Mr. Corbyn was a useful idiot, and the phrase attributed to Lenin, his, his open visceral anti-Westernism helped the Kremlin cause as surely as if he had been secretly peddling Westminster tittle-tattle for money. So they're, they're essentially indirectly accusing him, the, the leader of the opposition Labour Party, of being a show for the Kremlin. And then an, in another tweet, they, they Integrity Initiative um, quoted Nick Cohen, a neocon in the British media, and the Integrity Initiative tweeted, quote, unlike Galloway, Corbyn does not scream conspiracy, he implies it. So once again, we see a British government-funded organization accusing the leader of the opposition Labour Party of b Im implicitly being in a conspiracy with Russia. <laughs> Surely the real scandal, Mr. Baker, isn't what Mr. Corbyn has supposedly done or not done. It's the outright lies and disinformation that your fellow Tories are spreading.